this week we're going to be learning all about AFCI protection. So the question is, what is AFCI protection? What does it do? Well, what it does is it protects your home from the hazards resulting from arcing faults. But ultimately, what it's doing is it's sensing the sine wave. It's monitoring the sine wave. And if there's any inconsistency and if it's in the pattern of what it senses to be an arc, it's going to shut that circuit off. It's going to protect your home from fire. And how these arcs result is if a staple's too tight, there's been a nail shot through it, it's pinched on a piece of you know the structure, maybe there's a break inside of the wire internally and animals chewed through it there could just be a loose connection at the breaker at the receptacle a frayed cord there's so many opportunities for these arcing faults we want a device that protects it you know from upstream it protects it all the way downstream and it senses the sine wave and it lets us know if there's an arc fault by shutting off it protects our home and it saves our life so we're going to be talking about it all this week i'm really excited about it first let's find out where it's required all right, so the first thing that we have to ask ourselves is, you know, where is it required? I'm reading from the 2020, but it's going to be very similar, if not exactly the same in the 2017. So if you're updating, upgrading your home or you're building a new home, this is going to, where you're going to be required to install it. We find ourselves in Article 210.12 and just buckle up because I'm literally just going to list everywhere that it's required. Let's get to it. So it is required in kitchens, family rooms, dining rooms, living rooms, parlors, libraries, dens, bedrooms, sunrooms, recreational rooms, closets, hallways, laundry areas, or similar rooms or areas. So pretty much Everywhere inside of the house is it going to be required. There's still a couple places that is it's not required, and that is in the garage or in the bathroom. But if those lights that light up the bathroom or the garage originate or pass through any of these other areas that are required to be AFCI protected, it's also required to be AFCI protected as well. So pretty much the entire house, and then they do this catch-all code that says similar rooms. Now similar rooms or areas are required, you know, are up to you and your inspector to make that, you know, to distinguish between that, but pretty much it covers the entire house. So now that we know where it goes, we can continue this week learning all about it. I'm really excited about this series. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, so before we jump off, I just want to let you know that I'm here available as a resource to you anytime. You can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I'm here to help you every step of the way. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 